What's up, my name is Max Sinclair here yet again for more marketing goodness just for you. Wow, that's a good message. And this time I'm gonna focus on Google Ads, Google search terms. So search terms is a little bit inside the Google Ad account, which is extremely important. And also what I think you're probably doing wrong when trying to manage these search terms. They are extremely important. Um, so I'm gonna try and cover all of that. So that's the second half of the video. So if you already know what they are, feel free to skip to the second half of this. My name is Max, I'm the founder of Snowball Creations. I run paid ads consistently for many, many different companies and different types of niches. So that's why I know about this stuff. Um, so hopefully this is gonna be helpful to you. And let's get started with what are Google search terms firstly? So Google search terms, you have in Google, whenever you run any campaign, in particular, for example, in search, you're going to have keywords. So a Google keyword gets talked about a lot. It's, for example, let's say you are um, the agency I run for myself. Maybe you'd search for um, a keyword of uh, paid advertising agency. That could be a particular keyword that you might put into a phrase match, for example. Um, so that keyword is something that Google then uses to put into auctions when trying to decide uh, whether you might show up for that particular keyword. Um, and if you win, then you get to show up on Google Ads um, in the search section, in the paid ads uh, kind of uh, promoted section of any search. So that is ultimately what a keyword is, but a search term is the reality. So for example, paid ads agency as a phrase match, let's say it's a broad match actually, so that's, that's the broadest it can be. Paid ads agency means we actually can then show up for so many different searches. We could show up for a search where somebody has literally just searched paid, the word paid, or paid ads, uh, or um, agency. So we could show up for SEO agency, for Facebook agency, for I don't know, creative agency, uh, because that's a broad match, so it's extremely broad. And so what we actually show up for, that is what an actual search term is. So a search term is what someone literally has typed into Google, paid ads agency, and then that's what you're then showing up for potentially because of your keyword that you have in your campaign. So these search terms are the kind of on ground kind of reality, uh, looking at what users really search for. So it's, the, it's so important for so many reasons to be able to know uh, which are the good search terms, which are the bad search terms, and basically changing your campaigns around that. Sadly, we do only get roughly 40 to 60-ish percent of the actual search terms nowadays. So Google hides a large percentage to do with privacy technically, but that's not really the case. They're just trying to make us spend more money is the, is the hard truth of that. Um, but yeah, why are they important? Uh, ultimately, it's the, it's the saving money and it's also uh, more control over the things that are good. So the saving money part. There is so many things which will come in, which, uh, for example, the one I just mentioned with this broad match, uh, which you probably wouldn't do anyway, to be honest, but a, a paid ads agency as a broad match. So again, like I mentioned, I might show up in that for a broad match paid ads agency, actually for SEO agency, because the only thing that needs it, any of those words basically coming up with somebody Googling means that I could potentially show up for that. And we are not an SEO agency. So if we did show up for somebody searching SEO agency, we're not gonna get any business. They're not gonna be interested in us. They're looking to try and find help with SEO, not with paid advertising. And so that's a terrible search, but we've just paid potentially 10 pounds, 10 whole pound coins, or probably $16 roughly for uh, our Americans and international audience. And that is terrible, you know, that's a waste of money, completely useless. So when going into the search terms, we can actually see this and set those bad terms like SEO, for example, we could set that as a negative uh, keyword inside the negative keywords list and then we're gonna avoid wasting that money in the future. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you might look in the search terms and find out actually it says paid ads agency, uh, London specialist or something. And actually we are London, like we live in London, we, we'd be great with London. So that's actually a really good one to be ranking for. So actually what we should do is take that search term and add it as a keyword, as a phrase match or something else into one of our campaigns. 
And then that means that we can actually purposefully be chasing after traffic, which is searching for that kind of niche. It also just gives you ideas. So maybe, you know, London is another idea. So maybe I just come up with a bunch of other keywords like uh, ads agency in London or, or paid ads agency near me with a London geography or different kinds of angles. So that's why it's really important is it gives you more control over the good stuff and you can see what it's doing for you and finding other good stuff and then also removing those wasted clicks. Now, let's go into the four common mistakes I see and how to avoid them. So number one, not checking these search terms. So to get to them, by the way, you go into any campaign, you go into the keywords, and then underneath keywords, there's, there's the keywords, there's negatives, and then there's search terms. It was search queries previously, so there's a couple of names for this, but now it's currently at search terms. And ultimately, uh, many people never even go to this part of the site. So firstly, check it and also check it regularly. So I'd argue, depending on your budget, if you have a very small budget, you can do this less often, but if you're spending a lot of money, you should be doing this almost daily, especially near the beginning when the campaigns are kind of being built up in the first place. Um, so check it at the very least weekly, I would argue. Um, and this means that you can try and avoid as many wasted clicks and improve on that campaign as quickly as you possibly can and just ultimately optimize better and end up with a better return on ad spend. Oh, hey, hey, could you just hit that uh, subscribe button just there? Yeah, appreciate it, thanks. So that's number one. Number two is getting the dates right in terms of what are you actually looking at? So very often people almost can kind of forget that when they open up their Google Ads account, maybe it's only set to the last seven days, or maybe you were just looking at the last couple of days to see how a change might have had an impact, or maybe you were looking at all time. And so with those date ranges, it will show you the search terms in those ranges. So if you do all time, for example, maybe you're looking at the search terms that a campaign did from an agency for you or in your previous marketing manager before you had, three, four years ago, for example, and actually those are almost useless because they're from a different world. Like they're not necessarily useless, actually. You can still get good data. But for example, if you've done one round of it, you could probably ignore those later on. So also the other end of the spectrum is if you only focus on, say, the last three days, you're only going to get those three days worth of search terms. So you're actually missing out on the last, say, few weeks or so of great valuable data and more clicks on those as well to know which ones are good or bad. So that's another really important thing. Just be, be aware of the dates and time periods that you're considering for your search terms. Um, also, if you've particularly, just a, a small thing, if you've looked at one search term, you've blocked it, and then you look at your report again the next week, and you're like, oh, it's still there, that's weird. It could be because you've still got the date range previously before you blocked it. So that's just a historical click. So just check it after that point that since you blocked it, and then you'll be able to check that it has worked for you. Number three, so not having effective kind of strategies, best practice in place for both negative keywords and creating new ad groups. So I've touched on this quite well already, to be honest, earlier, but essentially what you want to be doing is saying some of the stuff's really obvious, like, you know, just bad ones. Like for me, for example, I just mentioned with the SEO, we don't do SEO. It was a simple one, just block SEO as a, as a word. Other times it's a little less clear, so you need to wait for more data. And then there's also adding to new ad groups or adding those keywords in as entirely or into existing ad groups. That's the two different paths you can take. And so that is generally because they're really good. So you're getting conversions or you just think they're a good search term. Um, or it could be because you just think that they might be good, but you just want to have some more control. So if you're doing manual bidding or some other kind of situation like that, you could do them at a much lower bid because you think that they could be good, but you're, you're not really very optimistic about it. So you're okay to spend on it, but you don't want to spend too much, for example. And that could be a good situation. And number four is quite a common one, to be honest, across so many problems within Google Ads is, is not showing enough patience. So Google Ads is a slow game to get right. Uh, generally, it takes three to six months, actually, to really get to a point where you're just really breaking even and killing it. Can be a lot quicker. We've had clients do it in a month, in weeks, literally, but very often as well, it can take up to six months even because it's a slow engine. It's like a big cruise liner. Once it gets going, it keeps going and it's spectacular um, and gives some of the best return on ad spends of any paid channel. But I would say it's important to know that it does take three to six months. So many people, when they're doing these search term reports, they launch a campaign, they go back in two days later, and then they're checking all these search terms 
<clears throat> but if you look, you'll see actually that the vast majority, maybe all of them, might only have one impression even. And so if they have one impression, that means one human literally just opened Google, searched something and saw it in all of the rest of the results and that's it. That is not enough data. You need to be focusing on having a good number of clicks to really be able to judge anything. And obviously, if you have conversions, that's even better. Um, but again, one conversion versus not conversions is not really necessarily going to always be the best data set. So the more time you can give it, the better. So at the beginning, just focus on the really obvious stuff, like I said, with SEO. But say, let's say, in my example, a paid ads agency. But maybe there's another search term, which is... Um, a creative paid ads agency that might be a little bit more questionable because it's kind of playing with creative and, and and maybe we aren't a fully creative agency like we don't make films ourselves maybe that's maybe what they were meaning with that search so it's a little confusing there so I'm not going to know yet so I shouldn't make a decision and just block that because I think it maybe is bad I, should, I need to give it more time so wait for the clicks the most obvious indicator at the beginning is click through rate so if that's say like 10% plus, then that's generally a pretty good click through rate. If it's very low, then that's quite often a signal. After a good number of impressions and clicks, if it stays low, then that's a good sign that it could not be a good, uh, good query or the ad at least isn't um, indicating the right thing to that particular kind of search. So those are my four, hopefully they're helpful. So one, not checking them regularly or at all. Number two is getting that date period correct. Number three, follow those best practice around negatives and creating new ad groups and to, to existing ad groups. And number four is to show a bit more patience with everything. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully your ads will rocket upwards with some good search term queries. I really think it's satisfying to do. I actually genuinely enjoy doing it for people because I see how much money we're going to save and how much more money will then funnel into their uh, good searches and, and great returns and conversions coming from that. Um, is one of the really important things, integral things you have to get right with Google Ads. One of the things we have a client recently who's been getting consistently 46 times ROAS. So if you want to see that video and some other kind of factors alongside search terms, which are integral to those kind of superstar accounts, then uh, we'll link that video here. Um, and otherwise, um, please do hit the like and subscribe if this has been useful to you. I'm doing these every single Wednesday. Um, and also let me know what you thought in the, in the comments. Like I'm really interested for some real feedback on these. And otherwise, I will see you next week.